Welcome to Yemi's Playlists. Let's begin. Our first playlist is City Pop. I especially have a soft spot for 80s City Pop, and I listen to it rather obsessively. I discovered Andri via a City Pop playlist on YouTube back in 2019, I think. This is definitely one of the songs I'll be playing by a beach this summer. While the song sounds fun, it's actually pretty nostalgic and melancholic, and it's similar to how I feel about a lot of my past summer vacations. Summers by the beach are such short but beautiful moments I treasure dearly. I wanted my outfit to be similarly fun and a little 80s inspired. Here's to remembering our summer days. I personally regard Tatsuro Yamashita as one of the masters of city pop. Every song of his is sad but with a happy tune, and maybe I just love that contrasting melancholy. Though there are so many great songs by him such as Magic Waves and Sparkle, I am once again drawn in by a song about the ocean, tied to past memories of fading love. Perhaps it's because I used to be in a long distance relationship, and I remember my long walks by the beach were often filled with nostalgia and melancholy. I can't help but feel happy, yet a little nostalgic when I listen to Yamashita's songs. As you can tell, to match the tone, I decided to make my outfit completely ocean blue. I discovered this song through one of my favorite city pop playlists. It's such a fun and happy-go-lucky tune, so I wanted to match that energy with a playful outfit. All in all, I love how this song makes me feel. It's very energetic, but also kind of mellow. I don't know how to explain it. The second playlist is for when I want to get into a good mood. This one isn't tied to a genre, just good vibes. My go-to artist for good vibes is Shintaro Sakamoto. Honestly, there are too many choices to pick from, but I ended up settling on This World Should Be More Wonderful because it's what I've decided to listen to on my vacation to Japan. More specifically, the beaches of Okinawa. Shintaro's You Can Be A Robot 2 was my initial choice, as it was the first song I heard by him in a sushi restaurant way back in 2015. However, I went with this song because it's the one that's lifted my spirits the most in the recent months. The outfit I chose is also probably going to be close to what I'll be wearing on my trip, so you'll be seeing that in the future, I think. Also, let me know in the comments what you guys would think about a potential video where I show you the outfits I'm packing for Japan. I am potentially making a video like that, but I am currently undecided. Tyler Burkhart has been one of my favorite artists for a long time now. And like with Sakamoto, I struggled to pick a favorite, but Hobbs is what I've been replaying the most recently. I wish I could play all of these songs for you, but due to copyright, I am very limited in that aspect. Hobbs is a very sweet and gentle song, and it reminds me a lot of my childhood memories, but also my present life. I guess I'm the nostalgic type because I find myself sitting with a lot of my memories, replaying them like movies. I wanted my outfit to feel like my younger self, a denim-obsessed, carefree soul, who lives in a suburban neighborhood, loves to eat ice cream, and go to the beach. I suppose especially these days now that I'm living in New York City, I kind of miss home and I miss suburban life a little bit, especially in Finland because there was so much nature, and whenever I went to the beach, it was pretty much almost always just mine, just for me. This song just reminds me of the simpler days of a much simpler and more straightforward life where my biggest stress was, oh, does my crush like me back or not? I kind of really wish I could return to those days sometimes because now it's, oh, I need to work a job to make a living, to eat, to wake up the next day, work a job, make a living, eat. If you haven't already noticed, a lot of my songs are nostalgic and maybe youthful too. For Heavens on Fire, I want to wear something youthful and retro. The next playlist is K-pop. If there's one K-pop related thing you should know about me, it's that I'm forever torn between Jimin and RM as my bias, and J-Hope and Suga are my bias wreckers. I wanted to copy Jimin's performance outfit with what I already have, so instead of a studded jacket, I decided to focus the rhinestones on the layer beneath it. I've been listening to this song on repeat, and it's a great song to listen to when I'm doing my skincare and makeup routines. I listen to a lot of Blackpink songs, but Lisa's Money is my favorite mostly because it's my go-to going out song. I listen to this every single time I'm prepping for a night out because it gives me a lot of confidence. I wanted to portray a similar attitude in my outfit and of course pay my respect to the outfits Lisa wears on stage. Admittedly, I come nowhere near to her styling, mostly because my wardrobe consists mostly of feminine soft clothing. Also, like, this song is impossible to not use as your going out song because, I mean, come on, drop some money. 
Now that I think about it, it's just about money, but I do love the way she sings it and how it sounds. Of course, the recent Rising Stars would get a mention. Now, I don't know if you say this song as OMG or Oh My God, I don't know, but it is a song that I play when I need to get from point A to point B fast because it keeps me walking at a good pace. I love how playful the outfits of the members are, so I decided to copy the basic structure of their outfits but without the hats because I don't own one. Instead, I tied up my hair in ponytails in an attempt to copy the bunny hat look. Anyways, it's a cute and fun outfit, nothing special, but I like it. Next, we have the Ethereal Subway songs. These are my top played songs in the subway when I'm feeling a sense of escapism and want to feel a little out of this world. Please forgive me if I say this name wrong, but I have a few Cocteau Twins songs that I love, but Know Who You Are at Every Age definitely takes the cake. This song often makes me forget my surroundings, and I find so much joy in listening to this dreamy tune. My outfit represents that dreaminess and slight sense of otherworldliness. I cannot even begin to count the amount of nights out that I've had, and where upon coming home, I listen to this song in a mostly empty subway and just dream away. If you've watched my channel for a while, then you may know that I am the vocalist of a band called Alligator. Singing was one of my many childhood dreams, and Haluan Herata was the first song we created, so it holds a special place in my heart. Since this song has a connection to nature and dreams, I wanted to represent it with something similarly beautiful to me. I know it might sound weird that I like to listen to my own songs, but I just really vibe with it and I'm very proud of it, even though the lyrics are kind of weird because it was the first song I ever wrote. But I do really feel at peace and I feel closer to home when I listen to this song. My final ethereal song isn't as ethereal as it is uplifting. Double Rocker takes me straight back to the subways of Berlin where I first listened to the song. The song works like a time capsule in my mind, taking me to a very different place when I want to remember peaceful and happy times. Because the song is very energetic though, I wanted to match its energy in my own experimental way. And finally, we have the J-pop playlist. Gesu no Kiwami Otome has been one of my favorite bands since 2013. All of their songs have so much energy, but Killer Ball was the first song that I discovered, which is why it's special to me. Please tell me you are noticing the pattern of my song choices. <laughs> I kind of wanted my outfit to replicate that of the album covers, and even though the colors are kind of polar opposite, I think it captures the chaos well. I love the playfulness of both the song and the outfit, and honestly, this outfit has kind of inspired me to maybe wear this to my next gig. Who knows? Let me know your vote. Should I wear it to my next gig or not? If you've been on Instagram or TikTok, you've probably heard this song a few times. I'm not really a fan of Imase or the rest of his songs, but Night Dancer is a very fun song. I especially love listening to it when I'm on the go because it's a good beat to walk to. This outfit is similarly fun and exciting, and I am low-key very happy that I decided to layer the two sheer shirts. I think it looks cool, and it kind of matches that fun vibe. Of course, I saved the most dramatic song for last. Most of you know the song, and most of you would also know that the lyrics go along the lines of If I had to keep being separated from you like this, I would rather die. So, of course, I had to pull out my most I die for you dramatic outfit. Now that I'm looking back at it, maybe it's not the most fitting, but the song sounds kind of alluring to me, maybe because I am a huge us against the world trope lover. I'm not sure, but you know what? If it's I would die for my lover or us against the world, I am here for that. That's why I went with something bold and provocative because at the end of the day, I too would be selfish and choose my love over everything else. I'll leave some of my favorite playlists and song links in the description box in case you want to listen to any of the artists featured in the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and as usual, I'll see you next time.